Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today, I'm going to share some awesome daily life motions for your Unreal Engine 5. You can see some of these, your daily life motions. It is, it is really awesome and rare for your game project. And if you want to download, you can just scroll down, go to my video descriptions. I already put the awesome daily life animations for Unreal Engine 5 at there. This is a Google Drive link. You can just go and download it. Once you download it, it is a zip file. You have to extract it. Once you extract it already, you should be able to get into the folder. And you can see there are really a lot of the empty folder here. You can ignore all this empty folder. You just need to drag it down to, to the middle, to the center. And you should be able to see all the FBX file. All of this FBX file, you can directly import into Unreal Engine 5 project. And start from now, I'm going to show you how. Right, now I'm going to start my Unreal Engine 5. Where is it? Okay, I'm going to start my Epic Game Launcher. Start, start the Unreal Engine 5 to create just a fresh new project. Right, this is my Epic Game Launcher. I'm going to launch the Unreal Engine 5 at here. And I click launch. It is launching. And I'm going to do a demo start from just a new project, a new third person game project. So here I have to wait for a while until the Unreal Editor is ready. Right, now the, the Unreal Engine 5 editor is at here. And I'm going to create just a third person game. I click the game and create a third person game project. The project name, this is just a demo. I'm going to name this as, as Daily Life Ocean Demo UE5. Alright, I'm going to click create. And now it is just create a fresh new project. I'm going to show you step by step how to utilize, how to use all these all this motion files. Okay, now the Unreal Engine 5 is ready. This is the game project. If you try to play, this is the default game avatar. This is SK. This is SKM Queen Simple. So I press escape. Right, just from here. By default, you cannot see the content browser. You have to go to the window, the car, the content browser, open the content browser, back to the content folder, and enter the character folder under the mannequin meshes. Right. The SKM Queen Simple, this is your main avatar. This one. So what you are going to do is just close this, create a new folder at here, right click, right click new folder, name this folder as the daily life motion. Alright. Double click in into the folder. Then just now, or any of the FBX at here. You can just click it. For example, one is for the the F is for female, the, the M is for male. For example, I import the female first. At this moment, the skeleton you have to choose the SK mannequin. The SK mannequin. The animation length you have to choose animated time. These two you must choose properly, then click import all and just wait for a while until it finish, finish import. Alright, now you can see after it, it finish import and transfer, it will pop up a message log. You can just close this. Close. Right. You can close it and then this is the animation sequences. This is the animation sequence that already imported. If you double click and have a check, you can see now it is loading. Right. 
This is the animation sequence. All right, close it. If you want to import, import a lot, you can just select more, select in that way. For example, just select in that way. Just now you already import one just now. For example, if you want to import four or three, all right, four. You can just select all one, two, three, four, then drag in. And then, same as just now, the skeletons, you have to choose the SK mannequin. And then the animation length must be animated time. But you must be careful at, at here. If you click import, it is going to ask you four times. All right. So actually, all the setting already done, and all are the same setting. You just need to click import all. Do not click import. So click import all, and you have to wait until it finish. It will pop out a message as well. Now you have to wait for a while. All right, now you can see four of them already finished transfer. It still pop out a message log. You can just close the message log and let's have a check. Just check one by one, double click and check it. All right, this is one of it. The second one. The third one, the fourth, no, this is the one, right, of course you can put all this, you can retarget it on any other 3D avatar, right click, Retarget the animations. If you already have other 3D avatar, this is another new skill that you have to learn how to retarget, how to do the retarget bones, how to retarget the SK, the SKM queen symbol into other 3D avatar in Unreal Engine 5. Right, of course you can put it put it into the, the game game scene as well. This is an animation sequence. And put in. Alright. Once you play the game, you can see all of them already in, inside the inside the game. And all, all with the certain collisions. All of these are just animation sequence. Right. If you want to overlap them together, for example, this one, the female and the male, if you put it together, let's have a look. Will it have any of the problems on collision? We try to play. Right. You can see all of this already put in. And that's all for today about my sharing and tutorial on all the awesome daily live motions for your Unreal Engine 5 and how to import it into Unreal Engine 5 to make it available for SKM Queen Simple. And you also can retarget it on any other 3D avatar in UE5. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.